Hello. A while back I bought the Rosa Gallery Romantic Artists Watercolour Set. I was drawn by the particular colours in this set, even though quite a few of them have got white pigment in and are semi-opaque. I loved the quality of them though and was intrigued about more of their single pigment transparent paints. So I went on to buy some more paints which were largely transparent. What I want to do today though is put them into the same palette I've recently got a £35 palette that I ordered a while back and make a swatch card for it. So I've sorted out the order I think I want and now I'll pop them into my palette. I've left a gap here because I've ordered a Perlene Violet which is actually a Roman Schmall paint but I don't have any gaps in my Roman Schmall pan. So I've just popped the insert out and now I get popping them in. These Rosa Gallery pans are slightly smaller than normal full pans in that they're shorter widthways and slightly shallower, but they're the same dimension from front to back, so they fit into a standard palette fine. With the palettes that I've just emptied, I'm going to hang on to this just a standard black one. I think it was from Amazon. Um, that works fine. I'll keep it as a spare. For... But with the actual Rosa Gallery palette, I'm going to well, stick this in the metal recycling. Um, I found that in order for the palette to close properly, this mixing tray has to be pushed right down and it was just a faff and I think having the Rosa Gallery paints in two separate palettes and having the one palette not work very well it was enough to put me off using them very much. I find that the easier things are to get to and the more organised they are the more I just naturally use them. This is the exact same palette as I have for my Roman Schmall paints and it's been a really good one so I just need to label them up separately. So I've made a swatch card out of watercolour paper and I'm just going to paint this now and that fits in the lid. I'm doing my swatching with the Princeton Neptune square wash half an inch. These paints just re-wet so beautifully.
I think some of the transparency ratings aren't quite accurate. I think this coral is more opaque than semi-opaque. And this cerulean blue is at least, well, semi-transparent, semi-opaque, rather than the transparent that it's down as. And just pick a bit of the black up so you can see the actual colour of it better. There we go. I'll link in the description to the two other videos which I do looking at the two different paint sets which I've amalgamated here in more detail and talk about light fastness and other qualities that they've got. But that was what I wanted to do today and I'm really really happy to have them all together. I hope that might be of some help if you are looking at Rosa Gallery paints. Thanks ever so much for watching. Bye!